Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dead State. Demo. Yes, it's the demo. We're looting stuff over here, we've just killed another zombie. And uh, yeah, we're trying to get stuff. I actually forgot what was... Oh nice, some more parts, a lantern. This is a rechargeable solar camping lantern. This can provide a lot more light than candles or flashlights, but it needs to be recharged. Luxury item, promotes morale, stock th this shelter. Yeah, quite a lot of stuff. You can't carry that much. Okay, well, let's give... Excuse me. Let's give stuff to other people. A collection of quality tools used for delicate and heavy-duty crafting. Required for construction of certain upgrades at the shelter. Store in shelter inventory. Right, um... So this is quite heavy. Let's give it to... How do I give stuff to people? Next character. No. Uh, how do I do that? Character? No? Uh, 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 uh. I kind of forgot how I do that. Can I give items to different characters? I don't know. Hmm. Well, that's a bummer. How do I... I know there's a way. No. Ah, bloody hell. Accessories, items, lockpicks could use that. But I'm, I'm sure... How did I give stuff to different characters before? Didn't you right-click or something? He's got a shotgun and a pistol. Jeez. Okay, that's uh, that's certainly odd, but I was almost sure you could give stuff to characters. Well, I'm just gonna pick stuff up with a different character then. There we go. Now, there's a locked door over here. We could use a lockpick, but I think I'm just gonna bash it down. Uh, and in fact, I'm gonna equip this knife as well. So I have, uh, you know... I have something with three APs. This is a little annoying because you have to uh, keep getting into combat like this. Is there nothing here? No, okay. Ugh, there's a zombie coming in. Come on. Get over here. Ugh. She's gonna try, but no, she's gonna miss that attack. Right, um, yeah, basic attack. Let's just... Attacker twice, 18 points of damage. Putrid woman. Ugh. 22, that's not too bad. We're all the way out there, so we can't really do anything. But hopefully, Anita here will be able to uh, finish her off. Very nice. 36 points. Let's see if she's gotten something. Nope. Well, Joel is gonna get that. Oh, so obviously we were hurt. Ooh, there's a sledgehammer here. But, um... I don't think it's really worth it, the sledgehammer. I believe it's uh, way too slow a weapon, and that means it costs way too much to actually attack with it. Okay, let's go. So, yeah, as I said, we were obviously hurt by the zombies there, so you have to be careful about that. There's a police car over there. Might be worth checking that out. Oh, and a few zombies. Can we go in there? No, we can't. Wait, these are zombies. Yeah. Okay. Dead man. You should probably just say, uh, rotting female. Ugh. You should probably just say zombie or something. Right, and start the combat. So we're right there. Okay. So, hello, dead man. Sorry about that, dead man. You're a dead man. Alright, well, let's get out of there. Oh. Oh, that was odd. Combat stopped and then combat began again, so the zombies got the, the jump on us. That that was not good. Ugh. Ow! I was hit, or I was bit for 30 points. Ugh! And now for 25. Jeez. And there's another zombie. Oh no, there's only two zombies. Yeah, that was, that was annoying that they started first. Get some from Uncle Joel. Right, we have to be careful. We have to... Actually, I'm gonna go for this one. 
and try to kill her. Trauma, go! And of course I missed. Well, let's get this one, only once, but actually we can do a dizzying smack. Nice, it's dead I believe. No, don't loot it, I just want it to move there. How do I move there without... There we go. Okay, but now the zombie is gonna attack me again! Ow! I'm, I'm at 29 points now. Ow! 22! So that's good. I will need to heal myself if I want to survive. Not good. There we go. She's dead. Right. So now I'm fairly hurt. Let's uh, bandage ourselves. That didn't do much. Yeah. Not enough medical supplies for healing. So we uh, used up all the supplies now. Only healed, what, 30? Yeah, 30 hit points. So that was not great. So let's see if this was worth it. Well, there was some fuel in there. We'll have Joel take that. Not great, to be honest. Not great. There's nothing in the... Oh, yes. Can certainly take that. Some cigarettes. What was that? An arrow. Why not? Anything else over here? No. Let's try to go through the doors. Yes, they are open. Right. Anything else? No. Ugh. Cowardly looter. Oh, bloody hell, there's a looter here. Phew. He missed me. That was good. Right. Basic attack only. Oh. We can't attack him diagonally? Really? What? Oh, man. No, can't do anything yet. Uh, neither can I. Right, let's do a basic attack so we can attack twice. Oh, come on, don't be missing that much. Not enough action points? No, just do a basic attack. What? Right, dizzying smack. We can't really do that basic attack. We'll have to be... But he's gonna kill me, probably. Ow. Oh, okay, he's going for Anita. Ow, 27 hit points. Right, take this guy out. He's wounded. So yeah, not only... Oh yeah, this is a, now a debuff. Um, now as you can see, this is still quite unpolished. Um, it just has this ugly icon above their heads. Um, I think that means he's dizzy or something. I mean, yeah, it even says here, Cowardly Looter is dizzy. You don't even, you don't know what these things do until one of your character gets uh, affected by them. I believe that reduces your total APs or something. I can't remember. Anyway, he's almost dead. There we go. Now he's knocked down, dizzy and bleeding. Uh, yeah, it says KO, which is knocked out. So we just finish him off. And it was a her, apparently. And, well, I can't... Oh, I can take everything. Okay, baseball bat. Right, let's see. Uh, how was the baseball bat? What? Oh, that was Joel. My character. Baseball bat! 18 to 28. Uh, still actually a little better. Two hands. Oh, and this is just one hand. Ooh, so if we, if we get a shield, we can actually use just the pipe wrench. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's take this for now, the baseball bat. Yep, that's pretty good. That's a good thing. Set active. Table. Oh, there's some stuff on the table. Uh, some coffee. To some people, this is worth risking their life for. To others, it is life. Luxury item. And we have some reusable utensils so that people don't have to eat with their hands. Could also be melted down for other uses. Luxury item. Honey is a natural food stuff and sweetener, but it is also uh, it also keeps indefinitely. Food for allies. A newspaper. One of the last ones ever printed. Some people might find a few uh, uh, answers about the cause of all this inside here, but mostly it's just something to read or wipe with. Ugh. Luxury item. And a can and stuff like that. So Okay. Let's get uh, Joel to pick this up then. But as you can see, it's not clear that you're actually able to loot that table. I mean, of course, it is clear when you're hovering over things. But that just that's just it. You have to hover over pretty much everything. Whenever you come into a place, you just hover, 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 hover. Oh, look, pantry. 
it would be nice to be able to, you know, get into the vicinity of things and have them colored green or something. Crackers, pork rinds, can of chili, and box of pasta. Certainly nice loot over here. Hopefully no zombies. There's a shelf with some crackers and a bottle of ketchup. Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to... <sighs> I didn't want to attack that, but okay. Let's get out of here now. The zombies might have heard it. Can we loot this? No, we can loot the dumpster, though. Oh, where is it going? Uh, some parts and also some insects. A handful of edible insects, just like... Uh, just think of them as lobsters, only much smaller. Can be stocked at the shelter, but may drop morale. Ugh. We're just gonna take this, then. The parts. Alright. Uh, is there anything else over here I haven't looted? I don't think there is. No, nope, we've looted everything. So as you can see, the map is quite small. I think some of the maps will be bigger. But for now, that's it. I will need to get healed up. That's pretty bad. Right, we've done everything. Let's go. Map screen. There's also downtown Splendid over here, but we're going back to the shelter first. You can also you also have the time over here, which I assume means that there's a there is a night and day transition, which is pretty awesome. I mean, on the maps themselves. So it's probably going to be much safer to go out in daylight than at night. But it might also be good at night if you're uh, careful and silent about it. Shelter return summary. Your allies transfer the following items into storage. Special items 1. We're stocked for later use. Blah, blah, blah. I'm glad you made it back. I can only imagine what it was like out there. Looks like you brought everyone back. That's the first good news we've had in a while. We've been keeping supplies in the back room near the basement. If you have the parts for the fence, you should put them on the shelf and I'll organize everything for repairs. We managed to secure the school interior. It'll hold for tonight, but we'll all sleep a lot more soundly when the fen uh, that fence is up. Anyway, you must be tired. We set up a bed for you in one of the classrooms upstairs. Go get some rest. We'll talk more in the morning. Thanks, I could use some sleep. After returning home from scavenging, all consumable items, blah blah blah, will be removed from your uh, and your allies' inventories and placed into the shelter's storage. Depending on the amount of time left in the day, you can explore the shelter, listen to any new updates on the radio and Davis, and speak with fellow survivors. You can also move. Ex uh, um, what? You can also move, explore the shelter, listen for any new updates on the radio in Davis's office. We've already read that, haven't we? If there's nothing more you wish to do in a day, simply head to your room on the second floor and click on your bed to end the day. But we could also go for another run. Of course, I need to get healed first, because that was quite nasty. Uh, where is the shelter storage? It's there, isn't it? Yep. Let's run over there. So that's quite nice that it just automatically places all the stuff here. So I'm just gonna get some of this, probably. Uh, what? I thought this was a tool. Not a combat thingy. Right, I just want one. No! How do I... How do I just get one? Ah, bloody hell. I don't know how to just get one. <laughs> That's annoying. Well, I'm not going to use a wrench anyway at the moment. Um, arrow, machete, this, this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, all of this is going there. Okay. Ah, and this. Medical kit. Not bad. I guess I can put this here as well. Right, let's try to get healed. Can I go back to that, uh, to Wene? And get healed, hopefully. But I doubt she'll have the uh, the option of that. Maybe I just need to go to sleep. Anything that would improve? No. Got time for some questions? No. Okay. Never mind. Wait a second. Uh, yeah, I still don't know where that... Where that board is where you uh, assign... Stuff for people to do. I remember in the demo it was right here, but now it's not, so I assume it's something that's going to be added the next day or something. Uh, no, 
Nothing to talk to you later. Right, so let's go upstairs and see if uh, sleeping actually improves our mood. Well, <laughs> improves our health, not our mood. That's our player bed. Yes, and the day. Now, of course, if this was... There we go. And this is the uh, the end of the first day. This is the daily results screen. This breaks down the details of the status of the shelter and its inhabitants. This will appear at the end of every game day to show you how things are going. On the left of the status... Uh, on the left is the status of food. How much food has been brought into the shelter. On the right, Adito's morale. Morale drops to low. The other survivors might feel you're a poor leader and either leave or rise up against you. Ugh. On the top, you have morale bonuses. Uh, blah, blah, blah. On the lower right are morale penalties. These are cause, caused by losing allies, dealing with broken upgrades, low food, and dealing with ally mood. Mood is a measure of, of an individual's attitude and ranges from good to disgruntled. Each ally's mood affects the morale of the shelter as a whole, so while one ally might still feel okay when morale is low, alternatively, another ally might feel unhappy when morale is high. Huh. Morale affects the entire shelter, but mood issues must be handled with uh, by dealing with individual characters. Speak with them to see if there's anything you can do to improve their attitude. Yeah, they need to change this uh, font. It's a little annoying. On the top right is listed the number of days that the shelter has gone without antibiotics. If infected allies go three days without antibiotics, they will die. Either by killing themselves before they turn or asking you to put them down. Ugh. On the bottom right is the amount of fuel consumed that day. Fuel is not only used on the world map to keep the car running, when you get one, but is also consumed by the shelter's generator. No fuel means not only no car, but no power in the shelter, which carries with it a big morale loss. So definitely make sure to keep an eye out for resources, uh, for sources of fuel when you're out scavenging. Okay, so there we go. Uh, ally with good mood, minus two morale penalty? What? Content, minus six, unhappy, minus seven. Oh, okay, that's good. Uh, no electricity, minus 20, and fence broken, minus 20. Bloody hell. But we did gain 101 by luxury items. 13 by negotiating, 5 by being likable, 20 by pets found? Really? Working toilets, 5. <clears throat> okay. Today's food consumption, minus 18. So, bloody hell, we have to get a lot more food. Today's preserved food gain, 55, okay. Okay, it's the next day and we were healed a little bit, yeah. Hey, I know we don't have many options, but please don't take my mom out of out with you. She means well, I get that. But if anything happened to her, I'll try my best to make sure she comes home safe. So what you're saying is someone else should risk their life instead. I'll keep her here today, but you will have to take her place. If everyone stayed here, we'd run out of supplies. At least this way we have a fighting chance. Yeah, exactly. I guess, I mean, I understand that, but it doesn't mean I'm happy about it. Rene walks off before you can say anything else. We should begin repairing the fence today. Do you have the supplies? Yes, we found everything we need. Great. We should get the task assigned to some people here. I've put up a task board in the cafeteria. You should assign people the job so they know what they should be doing. There we go. I'll make sure we keep track of everyone's progress so we can manage this place efficiently. For now, you should assign some people to repair the fence since we have necessary components. It's not a very complicated task, so anyone should be up for it. If we're going to fix this, uh, fix this place up and hold out here, we're going to need more parts, food, and probably weapons. I know it's dangerous, but someone's going to have to go out and look for supplies. We'll only be able to work during daylight hours, so keep that in mind. That fence is our top priority. If anything happens to it, everyone here is at risk. As long as we keep it up, people won't worry about it. Understood. I'll go take a look at the task board. Also, if you have any spare parts left, you may want to try and get that abandoned well on the property operational again. A source of fresh water could definitely help boost morale around here. Good idea. I'll go look into it. The job board is absolutely critical to running the shelter properly, and the only way you can get that fence repaired. It's located in the far corner of the cafeteria, on the other side of the stairs. Its uh, interact icon should be a marker. Run over and have a look. Right, so it is. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where is it? It should be here. There we go. There's the board. Job board. There's chatter on the radio. We don't care. Anyway, we are going to continue this next time. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you then. Bye bye.